we're going to start building the, the game here from scratch. So we will use the range B2 to D4. So I'm going to format that uh, so that it looks like a tic-tac-toe game board. Um, so changing the, uh, the row height and the column width. And, and we could also do that with, with VVA. We've done it in, in some previous videos. But let's uh, let's just do it manually this time. So I'm going to add some some uh, border here. Um, and I'm going to add some uh, right and left borders here as well. OK. Um, and then, um, so this is going to be aligned centrally, and, and, and it's going to have um, bigger yeah and let's remove the the grid lines here so yeah so more or less that's the the tic-tac-toe um, bore right so that's how it should it should look like now the first thing we'll do here is the first thing we want to do is to capture our move because we're gonna play against the computer so let's um, let's capture our move when we select uh, a particular cell so let's move to the VBA editor here and in order to do that we have to use um, we have to use an event procedure and that's actually here in the sheet one um, uh, object module so so we have to click on the worksheet and by default we get the selection change but we have many other um, events here so, but the one we want is the selection change. So every time we we change the selection, it will it will um, it will put a, an X if we are playing with the with the X's. Um, so, but we want to make sure that this only happens when we uh, click a selection in in that range in the B2 to to uh, to D4. So if the target um, row greater than one and the target row is um, lower than five and let's continue down here the target column is greater than one and the target column is lower than five then then we're gonna call um, a macro that I'm gonna call move a and if okay so move a we don't have this yet but we can, we're gonna create this in a moment so move a it means move player a so we are player a and the computer is gonna be player B so now let's insert a standard module here and in, in the standard module we're gonna create our macro move a so here um, if the active cell value is nothing then so if it's empty then we gonna um, we're gonna add to the active cell an X which is our move here and if okay if if, if it's not empty nothing's gonna happen so now um, if we move there, we are going to call the move B procedure or, or macro. And move B is going to be the computer's move. So let's create here another procedure, move B. And uh, for now, to make it easier, the computer is going to move uh, randomly. So we are going to, to create a using the randomized function we're gonna create um, a random column number and row number so I will use R for row number and this is gonna be the integer of the R&D times 3 starting at uh, position 2 so it's gonna it's gonna generate a random number between 2 and 4 2 3 or 4 and the same for for the column so I'm, I'm actually going to copy this 
and that will be C for the column. Let me let me declare those variables integer and C as integer as well. Um, and now, if cells are C, so R comma C, um, the value is empty, then the computer can move there, can move. Uh, so in cells R comma C, the value is going to be uh, O, which is the, the computer move, and then end if. Now, but what happens if, if it's not empty? So no, nothing's going to happen. So we actually need to loop until it finds a place. So let's add here, a, start a do loop, which is going to finish here, loop, and when it finds a place, it's going to exit the do loop. Let's end in the code so it looks better. So that's here, and then the do loop here. And we need to do one more thing. We need to check if the game's not over. So how we do that? We're going to use the count a Excel function. So if the application count a for the range b2 to d4 is below 9, then we start the loop and then move. Otherwise, the game is over. Nothing's going to happen. OK, so, so let's see how it works. Um, we move here, and the computer moves here, and then we, we move here, and the computer moves here randomly, of course, because otherwise he should have blocked the winning position here. And then if we move here, nothing's going to happen, but we need to add, actually, another procedure to check every move, if it, if it, if it creates a, a winning uh, move. And, and, and we, ha we need to add that up here. So before, once we move with an X and before the computer moves, we need to call another procedure that I'm going to name check move. And we can uh, put it down here, check move. And what check move is going to do, so we can do that in, in many different ways, but um, one of the ideas here um, is to, to use a numerical approach, which is going to add a, a number for each move in a separate worksheet. So that's explained here in the, in the post. So I think I'm not going to go into detail on that. So as you see here, um, I created a separate worksheet. And for each x move, we are adding a 1. And for each o, we are adding a minus 1. And then there are some formulas down here which are um, adding the numbers. So if we move here, you can see uh, the formulas on the right are adding the, the rows. The formulas on the bottom are adding the columns. And then there are two formulas here on the corners adding the diagonal. So if, if there is a um, minus, in this case, there is a minus 2. But if there is a minus 3, it means the computer wins. And if there is a plus 3 somewhere, it means we win. So that's a, a way to easily um, quantify somehow the, the status of the, of the game. Now, the next step would be to create an algorithm for the computer to move uh, in the right place or to make the right move. Because for now, what we have created here is just a random move. So uh, in order to create an algorithm, we use those uh, formulas as well and, those, and that numerical approach to, to check the following. So the first thing the computer is going to check if, is, is there, if there is a minus 2, I'm going to play here to win. Then, if that's not the case, the, the second thing it's going to check is if there's a plus 2, 
you know, if there's a plus 2, as it would be the case here, um, I'm going to play here to, to, to block the winning. So that's how these formulas work. And then if there is neither a minus 2 or, or a plus 2, the computer is going to follow the, the, the steps here. So it's going to take the center position if it's free. And that's a defensive move to avoid mm, different strategies to, to win. Then it's going to take corner position if free, um, unless there is a corner or an edge advantage, which are some other another uh, winning strategies. And otherwise, it's going to take any other position. So that's how the algorithm works. Now, I suggest you download the file and have a look at the code. Um, and if you have any questions, you are very welcome to to write here. Um, so that's how we create the tic-tac-toe game in Excel using VBA. Thanks for watching.